Hello guys, it's Manuel here with the second part of the zombie shooter game tutorial. In the last episode, we made the character movement and shoot script. In this episode, we are going to make the zombie for our game. The process of creating zombie needs a lot of time, so I think we should make the zombie in two separate videos. In this episode, we will write the zombie AI script, download the zombie model and some animations. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let's fix the bug that exists in our game. As you notice, when we shoot on the ground, we have shoot sound, but when we shoot to the sky or somewhere without collider, we don't hear the shoot sound. Open the shoot script. Select and cut these lines and paste it above the if statement. Our mistake was that we played the shoot sound when we hit the object instead of when we press the fire button. Now let's get back to Unity to test it. It's working fine now. Now create a new script and call it Zombie AI. Open the script. Delete this extra comment to have cleaner code. We need a reference to the player game object. So write public game object player. Now declare a public float field of view for the zombie and another public float for the range of the field of view and call it field of view range. We need to have a distance for if the player gets too near to the zombie from behind, the zombie will notice the player and attack the player. So write public float near range. We need a reference to the animator that we will attach to the zombie game object. Write public who is attacking. This boolean is going to check if the zombie noticed the player or not. Write serialize field to make next variable visible in the inspector. Write private float hit timer. We are going to use this to make sure that the zombie doesn't hit the player immediately after it has the situation. We want to wait for a little while, then attack the player. You can try to write the code without hit timer and you will find out how silly the zombie would react. In the start method, write player is equal to game object dot find game object with tag player. Then write nav is equal to get component nav mesh agent. We don't have nav mesh agent because we need to write using unity engine dot AI. Now you can see we have the nav mesh agent here. Anim is equal to get component animator okay in the update method we need to declare a float distance we use vector tree dot distance to calculate the distance in the unity we want the distance between the player and zombie that the zombies position is the game objects position We need a vector tree direction that is player dot transform dot position minus transform dot position. Also, we should have a float angle that is equal to vector tree dot angle direction and transform dot forward. Okay, let's check if angle is less than field of view and, and distance is also less than field of view range if it's the case then is attacking is true 
we write follow here and we declare this method later. Else if distance is less than the near range then is attacking is equal to true. Again write follow here. If none of the above conditions wasn't true, anim dot set bool attack is false. The attack is the boolean that we are going to make it in the animator controller that trigger the attack animation. Okay, now write anim dot set bool run is equal to false and anim dot set pool idle to true I forgot to declare the nav so here write nav mesh agent nav nav dot is a stop is equal to true so the zombie doesn't follow the player and of course is attacking is equal to false if distance is less than and equal to 2.8 and is attacking is equal to true and also angle is less than the field of view multiplied by 0 0.5 the hit timer would be equal to the current value plus time dot delta time if hit timer is greater than 0 0.5 then the hit timer is equal to 0 anim dot set pool attack is equal to true so the attack animation will play anim dot set pool run is true and anim dot set pool idle is false actually the run should be false the last thing we are going to check in the update method is if distance is greater than 2.8 and is attacking is equal to true we set the hit timer to 0 anim.setpool attack is false anim dot set pool run is true and anim dot set pool idle is false now let's declare the follow method that we used in our script earlier write void follow if is attacking is true and hit timer is less than 0 0.5 then the nav dot is stopped is equal to false nav dot set destination to player dot transform dot position so the zombie will follow the player save the script and get back to unity Create a new folder and name it animation. Create another folder for model.
in the model folder create another folder for zombie get back to assets then open animation folder and create a folder for zombie we need a zombie model and some animations So go to mixamo.com and search for zombie character. You can download one of the zombies here. I want to download the Derek model. Click on download button. Change the format to FBX for Unity. Click on download button. We need some animations too. Write zombie idle and hit enter. Click on this animation. Click on the download button. Change the skin to without the skin. Leave other options without change. Click on the download button. We need a zombie attack animation. Click on this animation. And download this animation. We also need a run animation. Download this animation. Get back to Unity. Drag Derek model to model zombie. Get back to asset folder. Click on animation, zombie folder. and drag animations here go to zombie model folder and click on Derek model go to material tab and extract textures now go to rig tab Create avatar from this model and hit apply button. Go to animation folder and select all animations. Go to rig tab and use the Derek avatar that we made earlier. So click on no avatar and change it to copy from other avatar. Click here and select Derek avatar. Click on apply button. Click on Zombie Idle Animation. Check the loop time and hit Apply. Now click on Run Animation and check the loop time and loop pose and click on Apply. Create an animation controller for the zombie. Click on fix now. This is for the normal map of the zombie. Click on zombie animator controller. Click on the arrow of the idle animation and drag the animation here. Click on the arrow next to the attack and drag the animation here. Do the same thing with running animation. Now right click on idle 
and click make transition and click on running right click on running and click on make transition and click on idle animation make a transition from idle to attack we need a dying animation for the zombie so write zombie dying select this animation and download it Get back to Unity and drag the zombie dying animation to the animation folder. Drag the animation of dying here. Click on dying animation file. Go to rig tab. Change new avatar to copy from other avatar and select fake avatar. Make transition from idle to dying. Make another transition from attack to dying. Make transition from running to attack. And from attack to running. And make a transition from running to dying. I think it's enough for this video, we will continue the zombie creation in next episode. So please subscribe and hit the notification bell and if you like the video, please hit the like button to support me. Thanks for watching this video and see you soon in the next episode.